Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, Airsoft Soldier here, and I am going to do something a little different today. Um, I know I bring you guys a lot of Airsoft stuff and show you my gear, my weapons, and um, some game footage, but uh, today I'm going to show you uh, a little bit of another side of me that I don't uh, mostly show you guys. And I think I only have one video of it actually up. But uh, anyway, this is my 1934 hex receiver. Mosin Nagant 9130. Uh, I got this in Georgia last year um, for about $101 surplus item. You can get these things anywhere. Um, any surplus store, a pawn shop that sells firearms and all that stuff. And that's exactly what I did. And I've had this uh, rifle for about a year. And what can I say? This thing is so much fun to shoot. If you guys are out there looking for a rifle just to clink around or hunt with even, like I do with this, then this is your weapon. Especially for those of you who love collector's items. Now, the uh, the Mosin-Nagant was used by the Russian infantry in World War II and started making these things um, in, the, in the start of the 1800s. I don't know the full history on on this weapon, but um, if you do, just leave a comment or something like that. Correct me. I really don't mind. I take it as constructive criticism. But anyway, I love this rifle, and the great thing about it is, is that it has the year it was made, 1934. You guys can't really see it. Not really great lighting in here. But anyway, I'll move my webcam so you guys possibly can. Uh, can you? Yes, you can. Okay, so anyway, 91 th 1934, it's got the star on there. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. But anyway, it's on there. And it has my serial number on there. And uh, this weapon is fantastic. Oh, yeah, there's my living room. All right. Anyway, this weapon is fantastic. I love this weapon. I use it to go hog hunting uh, in the wintertime and... Fortunately, I hope to do some hog hunting actually this summer because now is the prime time to do it. Uh, concerning it's hot outside, the pigs want to go near water where it's nice and cool, they can stay cool, and uh, it'd be perfect if I can just you know take one out with this baby right here. But uh, I always I always have fun with this rifle. And what I just found out is that the hex receivers that were made are actually collector's items now. They are worth more money now. Uh, other than the round receivers that you guys mostly see out there. So if you ever have a chance, if you find one of these with a hex receiver, buy it. It is worth a lot of money, and it will be in the near future. But anyway, uh, just a little little overview of my rifle. It's got the original brass fittings on the stock. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to shine those up, but I doubt it. It's got the cleaning rod and uh, front sight. A little down view of it. Kind of like a AK style uh, front sight or rear sight, I should say. Um, but of course, this this rifle was made before the AK. So this was, I guess, the original design that they decided to put on AK, just a little bit shorter. I'm not too sure, but if you do know, please put it in the comment section. Uh, original sling uh, came with a package along with um, a couple ammo pouches, traditional ammo pouches, Russian ammo pouches along with a bayonet traditional Russian 9130 bayonet and I love this thing I actually have this on while I go hog hunting and just in case if one wants to come up to me and uh, oppose a threat to me I can just go ahead and stab the sucker and then shoot it but I don't think I'm gonna do that cuz uh, I'm a little bit more humane than that but anyway just wanted to show you guys my rifle and uh, show you that I do uh, indeed own real firearms. And the next uh, other the other firearm that I do have is a collector's item. It is a 1860 Army revolver that was given to me by my grandfather. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that. So I'm going to go ahead and go get it. I know this video isn't really that formal, but I'm going to go ahead and go get it for you guys so I can show you. Let's set the rifle down, and I'm going to go get it.
All right. Okay, here we go. So, this is my 1860 Army Revolver. It, like I said, it was given to me by my grandfather on my side of the family. And it is a ball and cap uh, revolver using the traditional gunpowder, using a cap to put on the revolving pieces, and just, you know, putting the bullet in like you would like a musket. I'm not too sure. I don't plan on firing this thing because it is such a collector's item and the engravings on it are incredible. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and polish this thing up, make it a little cleaner for you guys to see, and uh, get a good look at the the trades and everything on it. But I wanted to show you guys this stuff and show you that I do, you know, I also do um, real firearms and not just airsoft, but anyway, go ahead and decock this thing. All right, let me get the webcam and show you guys these trades. Oh, look, a computer. So here's some of the engravings on it. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but those are actually ships. All right, um, a couple ships. I can't really see it. A um, couple ships on there. Patent number engraving, W.L. Ormsey, New York. I know you guys can't really see that, but it's on there. And this thing is, I, I think it's gorgeous. But anyway, so if you guys saw those trades and uh, saw the engravings, they're very, very unique and I think one of a kind, but I'm not sure. Um, I haven't really been researching this weapon that much but uh, I plan to and I'm gonna see how much it's actually actually worth so um, anyway I guess that just sums up this video and uh, what I wanted to show you guys but um comment like subscribe to my channel if you like what you see and uh, I hope to have some more videos up for you guys later on in the future and um, what can I say? Happy hunting, and uh, hope you guys are being safe out there, playing some good games with Airsoft in the summertime. Great time to kick off the summer. And uh, everybody uh, be safe and uh, have fun, basically. Later.